Hello friends, welcome to the channel The Studios Value. First of all, like the videos, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you are new here to the channel, please subscribe. And today we are going to learn about what is determiners. What is that? Determiners. We will learn it properly and these are the kinds of determiners. These are the kinds. And in order to have a proper uh, comprehension of this topic, so watch the video till the end. So now let us start. What is a determiner? Actually, a determiner is that limits a noun. Determiner limits a noun. Limits a noun. A determiner always limits a noun. Clear? So how let us be clarified with an example. When we say she is my sister. When we say she is my sister. So first of all let us find the noun here. What is the noun here? See, she is the is the pronoun and sister is the noun. What kind of noun? It is a common noun. Clear? Sister. Common noun. Remember one point. In order to find out the determiners, I'll teach you an easy, easy, easy trick. What is that? To find out the determiners, first let us find the noun. And the word that is used before the noun is the determiner. Clear? Because a determiner always limits the noun. So here, so point out, not it in your diary. Used before a noun. So it is always used before a noun, not it. So here come, come back. In this sentence, she is my sister. So here sister is the noun. And what is the word used before the sister? It is mine. Yeah. You are absolutely correct. So, mine is the word that is used before the noun. And try to understand this word, this mine is the noun sister. When we say she is my sister, people never understand that uh, she is sister of others. No. When we say she is my sister, people understand that the girl is my sister. दूसरे को समझ में ये नहीं आता कि वो दूसरा किसका है क्योंकि हम इधर नाउन सिस्टर को लिमिट कर किया है लिमिट कैसे किया है वो क्या बोलकर लिमिट किया है हम बोला कि मेरा बहन है माय सिस्टर दैट्स व्हाट द नाउन इज लिमिटेड हियर नाउ लेट अस सो सी द डिटरमिनेंट हियर सो दिस डिटरमिनेंट इट डिटरमिनेंस द नाउन सिस्टर सो इट इज अ पोजिशन so now let us come to see the kinds of determiners. The first kind is possessive. What is that? Possessive. Second one, demonstrative. Third one, quantitative. Fourth one, numeral. And the fifth one, articles. Now what is possessive? Possessive means it? possession or ownership. 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 One minute. So, possession means ownership. Listen to it. Demonstration means it. Pointing out. Pointing out. Quantitative means amount. We are speaking about the amount. Amount or the quantity. Quantity. Numeral means numbers. Then comes articles, and we know this. What are the articles? So now discuss each in detail. So in this sentence, money is the possessive because it is denoting the ownership of something. We said that that sister is mine, she is belonging to 
me clear so uh, understood now let us move to demonstrative what is demonstrative so a demonstrative determiner is a determiner it is a word that is pointing out the noun that is pointing out the noun so noun ko point out karta hai wo usko demonstrative determiner bolte hai so for example when we say this house is mine when we say this house is mine so uh, what do people understand when we say that this house is mine we point out to a house and say that this is my house sorry this house is mine so that means you are pointing out to the proper house to a particular house and telling that this house this is the house of me clear so that we are pointing out therefore a demonstrating means that is demonstrating that is explaining something clearly or that is pointing out clear so here we pointed out the house and said that is mine now there is a difference between the demonstrative determiners and the possessive you may have doubt on that so now let us see the possessive case and noun it is used with the sorry the is used with the definite things for example when you say the sun why do we use the before the sun because sun is only one in the universe and it is particular clear or when we uh, say something regarding about some good person or about some personality so we use the word the because we are speaking about a particular person we say that the himalayas the himalayas are the highest mountains when we say the himalayas means it there are no other mountains as high as the himalayas because they are the how high, highest mountain therefore we use the word the particular whereas a uh, and an a uh, and they both are indefinite articles a is with with consonant having consonant sound and with singular things clear then an is used with uh, having uh, vowel sounds with singular things so for example but there is a difference it should have vowel sound for example one word universe so when we speak about university we can never speak that a university or sorry we can never speak that an university because why it is only a vowel letter it doesn't have vowel sound u ka matlab a nahi hota hai u ka u ka sound vowel sound nahi hota hai isliye u is not and a vowel sound that would be we can use the or a university here so with that we ended up our class if you have any doubt please ask me and like the channel and subscribe and this both are used with uncountable nouns hum jo noun ko gin nahi sakte wo noun mein humko much or less use karna hai so therefore these two words these two quantifiers these two determiners they are used with countable uncountable noun and with quantity when we want to say the quantity of the amount of something then we have used this two clear now coming to the many and a uh, and many and few so listen many and few this determiners they are used with countable nouns and they are stating some number of a thing some number of a thing therefore they are called uh, therefore we use many and few with the countable nouns which is having number now coming to the sum sum is used with both uncountable and countable nouns now let us understand each one with example so first of all so i drank less milk 
Why did he answer less? So because the noun is uncountable. We cannot count milk. हम दूध को गिन सकते हैं क्या? कह सकते हैं मैं इतना और दो या तीन या इसे कह नहीं सकते। We cannot say I drank two milk, three milk, four milk. Can we? No. Therefore, since it is uncountable, we use the less. Understand? Come. Clear, no? So we now here in in this sentence, actually we are stating the amount of milk I drank. Clear? Not the number of milk. Here it is denoting the amount of milk I drank. I drank very less amount. Clear? Now let us come to uh, much. Okay. If the quantity is more, you use that much. I have um, we have much water in our house. Or India is full of um, much. Riches. Since rich riches, we cannot count. It's uncountable. So we can say like that. So if the amount is more, we use much. If the amount is less, we use come more type of less use. करते Now coming to the uh, many and few. So these are the number. Therefore, numerous, numerous, determiners. Clear. So when we say, मेरे पास दो पेन है. आई हैव टू पेन्स कितना है दो हम गिन सकते हैं मेरे पास कितना पेन है मेरे पास दो पेन है सो वी कुड काउंट इट वी कैन काउंट दी नंबर ऑफ पेन आई एम हैविंग दफर वी से आई हैव टू पेन्स सो हियर वी कैन नॉट यूज मच और लेस वी कैन नॉट यूज आई हैव मच पेन मींस पेन इस चीज है क्या जिसको हम गिन नहीं सकते हम आसान से इसको गिन सकते हैं इसलिए इट इज काउंटेबल नाउ इट इज नॉट अनकाउंटेबल If it is not uncountable, if it is noun, if it is countable, which can be counted, then we have to use these two words, many and few. If the number is more, then use many. If the number is more than ten, you use many. If the number are few, maybe three, four, five, or below five. So you say, I have few pens with me. Clear. So when we say we have two, you use that I have few pens. Few pens means it. Actually, you are not sure of the number. You think that you may be having three or four pens, but not exactly you remember that. So when we are not sure of the thing, हम जब कुछ चीज़ में sure नहीं होता है number में, उस time हमको few use करना है, नहीं तो many use करना है। जब हम sure है, हमको पता है कितना चीज़ है, कितना articles है, उस time we can use numbers. I have five, ten exact numbers. Okay. So with that we finish many and few. Now let us come to the sum. So it is very interesting to know about sum because it shares the middle way, middle path. What middle path? It is both used with uncountable nouns, with countable nouns. So the things which we, we can count, there also we can use sum. Not count also, we can use sum. Clear. So it shares the middle way. Before that. I will noting down. Please note it. Don't make your diary empty. Okay? Fill it with some new knowledge. Come on. So let us discuss it with an example, with two examples. What is that? Sorry for the inconvenience. It's not writing properly. Okay. I had some rice. I drank, or I have, I have some chocolates. I had some rice. I have some chocolates. See the use of some. Here we say I had some rice means I had. Some a little portion of rice, little amount of rice. Clear. Then in the next sentence, it is used with uncountable. We cannot count rice. हम rice को गिन सकते क्या नहीं? हम बोल के हमने इतना खाया, कुछ तो खाया. Therefore some. Now next, I have some chocolates. We can count chocolates. Then why do we use some? 
because some shares the middle part clear so you know that chocolate is a countable noun we can count the chocolate but we are not sure of the number how many chocolates we have therefore we use the here some i have some chocolate matlab mere paas kuch chocolate hai mujhe pata nahi kitna hai in number so that is called the use of some so some shares the middle part uncountable and countable so remember it so hope you understood it if you have not understood so please comment to me okay i will uh, give you detailed explanation on each and if you want to have some other explanation on some other topic please share with me i am here to i am always available to clarify your doubts so here by telling it once again thanking you i remain enjoy the class thank you bye